Hey you guys, welcome back to another Vlogmas video. Today we are staying on trend with getting ready for 2021 and today's video is 10 steps on how to manifest the life of your dreams. I'm going to give you examples from my own life and how I've manifested so many things. So if you want to learn more about what it takes to really manifest then stick around. Before we jump into the video, I just want to remind you that if you want to be entered into the giveaway, you have to like and comment on every single video that I've uploaded through Vlogmas and you have to be subscribed to the channel. If you haven't done that yet, make sure you hit the subscription bu button and you go back and watch all the videos that I have in the playlist for Vlogmas. So let's jump right into the video and as always I have my notes because I don't want to forget anything. So let's jump into the very first thing you have to do if you want to manifest the life of your dreams. And number one is that you have to believe in yourself you have to believe in your desires and you have to believe that you are worth it. In other words, belief is at the core of manifesting. For the longest time, I had a hard time believing in myself, believing that it was possible for me to have or live the kind of life that I wanted to live. And it wasn't until I realized that of course that can happen for me. If it happens for other people, why can't it happen for me? And my struggles were always around the professional uh, sphere. I hated working a nine to five. I hated being stuck at a job. I hated what I did. And I just wanted to have control of my days and my life. And when I went to lunch, when I came home, when I went on vacation, I just wanted control of my life. I didn't want it to be revolving around a nine to five. And it wasn't until I believed in myself that I was able to finally break free from that. And now, I don't work at nine to five anymore. I control my days. I do what I want when I want. And I will show you guys. I mean, I documented that in my journal so many times. I have so many journals. I went through it right before I started this video. And I mean, I want to show you really quick where it was. It says right here. That one was basically, I will be 100% entrepreneur, fully supported and financially by my writing and YouTube career. And that's basically what I'm doing right now. No, I am not fully um, financially supported by YouTube or my writing career because my husband's, I am married and my husband's career has taken off in such a way that I am able to do that. But we're gonna get to that in a minute because I want you to understand that somehow your desires and what you want don't come exactly the way you think they should come or how you think they're going to come and therefore because you can't see it you block it so anyways i just want to point that out but we're going to get to that point in a second number two is to know what you want i've said this before on this channel it should be a mantra of mine you cannot get what you want if you don't know what you want in fact most of us spend all our time focusing on the things that we don't want and therefore that is what we continue continue to get it wasn't until i switched my mindset from i don't want to be here i can't stand to be here meaning my job i don't want to i don't know how i'm ever going to get out of here i think i'm never going to get out of here I, I i feel stuck all these words that kept running through my mind it wasn't until i released that and switched the way I spoke in my mind, the way I spoke to others about the life that I wanted to live, the life that I was living, until I stopped all that negative thought, that things started changing. Within six months of me switching my mindset, from me understanding the power of my mind, I was able to get out of that job and you know, I was able to relocate to a new city. I was able to just change my life entirely. So that is the, the thing that you need to know is number two is that you need to know what you want so that you can change the conversation in your head. Number three is that you have to write it down. Sometimes writing things down just adds a little more clarity. It adds more feeling, more energy. You can align even more to your desires when you can actually write it down and see exactly what it is that you want your life to look like, what you want to experience. I have a ton of videos on this, especially I just recorded um, a few videos on how to 
intuitive journal, how to intentional journal, how to art journal. I also recorded another video on how to create a theme for 2021. If you have not watched those, go back and watch them because it's all about getting in tune with your desires as much as possible. And when you write it down, you connect it. And I, I highly encourage you to actually use a pen to paper. Yes, you can type it out, but I think there is something when you actually put a pen to paper that you can focus on what the words that you're writing, the things that you're saying, the things that you're feeling that actually adds a little more energy to your desires. Number four is create a vision board. This should not be any surprise to you guys. I am a big fan of vision boards. I do it all the time. I have so many and I have two on my wall and creating a vision board not only adds to um, the energy of your desire, but it also um, inspires you and motivates you when you can see it and you can actually see in physical form that which you want. So I am a big proponent of vision boards. I have also on the channel a bunch of videos of me creating different vision boards. If you're interested in that, I will leave it in the description box below for you guys to check out. Number five is to place your attention on the things around you. Sometimes we are really, really close to that which we desire, but because we are not placing our attention on the good, we are focusing on the lack, we miss out on that which we want. But if you start looking at the little things, at maybe that email that came in that's telling you, hey, you're getting close to that you, that you want, Hey, um, if you you know have a conversation with someone and, and you can read between the lines, maybe there is something there. There's a hint that's telling you you're getting close to that which you desire. So my challenge to you is in this coming up year, if you want to manifest a different thing in your life, if you want to manifest a new life for yourself, start looking at life in a new way. Focus your attention on the positive instead of the negative. Let go of the lack, let go of that which you don't have or what you're lacking or what you're needing and instead focus on all that you have. Focus on the signs that things might be changing for you and when you start noticing one thing, you'll start noticing 10 things and before you know it, your life has become an automatic manifestation. You're constantly manifesting because you're just focusing all your attention on all the good things that are coming your way. Number six is to release the how, but act. This one can be a little bit tricky because like I mentioned, I wanted to be an entrepreneur. I wanted to support myself. I wanted to just be my own boss and let go of um, you know, the nine to five that I was focused on the how, how am I going to do this? How am I going to make enough money to supplement my income? How, how, how am I going to do it? Well, once I released of the how, but believed that it was possible for me to do it anyway, something else happened. My husband's career has taken off in a way that I never imagined it would. And because he has been able to be so successful, it has allowed me to not have to work nine to five to focus on my career and writing and just, you know, just getting myself off the ground. He's been doing this his entire life. So don't focus on the how. The how doesn't matter. I am loving my life. I am loving that I don't have to go to a nine to five. And the fact that it's not solely based on my uh, money making, that it's because of him, I'm perfectly fine with that. Of course, I want to, you know, be equal partners in the financial aspect of our life and I know that I will get there but I'm not stressed about it because that wasn't the goal for me. The goal wasn't necessarily to make a certain dollar amount. The goal for me was to be home, to have control of my life, my schedule, my days, my time. That was what was most valuable to me and that is what I have today. I have control of my life, my time, my space, my writing. I do it all and the how doesn't matter to me at all. So that's what I want to encourage you to do is to let go of the how. But when I say act, a lot of us, let's say I have a dream of being published, right? I can have that dream and I can let go of the how am I going to get published in, you know, as far as like, who's the perfect agent? How is that agent going to come to me? How am I ever going to find an agent? But the most important thing is to have a dream. I want to be published. But number two, act. Meaning if you want to be a published author, you have to write your book. 
How are you ever going to get published if you don't write? And that's what I mean by act. Act is take action towards your dreams, but let go of the how. Every step you take is going to reveal something new to you. So once you write your book, you're going to get to the next step of what you need to do next. Maybe now you need to find an editor. Then once you find an editor, now you need to maybe find uh, an agent. So every step you take is going to lead you to your next step. However, you have to take that step. Otherwise, you are never going to reach that which you want. So yes, of course, don't plan on the how, but you have to act. Next is prepare. And what I mean by this is I have a dream. It's on my vision board, which I will show you guys in a minute. <laughs> I have a vision of wanting to go travel abroad, right? Well, as we all know, um, this year was a little difficult, so we weren't able to travel at all. But I have a dream of traveling to Paris. That is like my dream destination. Well, I may not be able to travel yet, but does that mean that I don't get ready for it? Absolutely not. I got my passport ready. So my passport is ready whenever the opportunity shows up for me to go to Paris, I am ready to go. And that is what I mean by prepare. No, I am not getting on a plane tomorrow. No, I may not even get on a plane in 2021 if we still have to wear masks and do all the things that we have to do. However, I am ready. And that's what I think manifesting is all about. It's almost, you know it's gonna happen and you're getting ready for it. So that's what I want you to keep in mind this coming up year. Just because you don't see how it's gonna happen or when it's gonna happen, it doesn't mean that you don't prepare for it. Next is act as if. I am sure you've heard this before, um, and this might be a little tricky. It's not about fooling anybody else into believing that you are a new person or that you have stepped into a new dimension or that you have stepped into a new, um, way of life it's about you feeling it so let's say you want to be the type of person that eats healthy well start acting what you think that person acts like so maybe you instead of going to your local grocery store you start shopping at whole foods because that's what you imagine someone with a healthy lifestyle does when they go shopping so if they start, you know, if they wake up early, if your idea of someone's healthy wakes up early, well then maybe you start waking up early. The whole point is start acting as if. Don't wait until the thing happens for you to start behaving in that way because the quickest way for you to get this right here is for you to already feel like you are that person. So once the two combine, you're on to the next thing. Now you're on to trying to manifest a new goal. So my advice to you is start acting as if right now, way before you start seeing proof that that thing is materializing in your life. Number nine is to try to get in tune with your desires as often as possible. And what I mean by this is you can do it again through writing or you could do it through visualizing or you could do it through talking about it or you can watch a movie or listen to a song whatever it is do it meditate on it just get in tune that's going to help you act as if that's going to help you prepare that's going to help you believe in yourself it's just the more you in tune with your desire the quicker it will show up in your life and number 10 is to document your wins nothing nothing makes you feel better than when you actually set out to do something and you do it so let's say you decide that you want to get healthy and one of those things is going for a walk every single day for 10 minutes well well, if you do that, even if you only did it for five minutes, you can still say, I didn't go for 10 minutes, but I went for five minutes and that's a win. That's a step forward. Every little step you take in the direction of your goals, it is a win. So make sure that you document it so that you can feel even more motivated the next day and the week after and the month after and the year to come. Well, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up and you share it with anybody who wants to change their lives in 2021. Remember to be entered in the giveaway. You have to like, comment, and be subscribed to the channel. So I will see you again in a brand new video tomorrow. Until then, stay safe.